Calc, sorry I'm out today. I'm sick, but I figured it would be nice if you had the solutions to the midterm review and the practice midterm. So here's the practice midterm solutions. Uh, find the numeric value of the derivative of f of x over g of x when x equals 2. Some of you thought this was 0 because you're like, well, wouldn't it just be f of 2 over g of 2? And then take the, that would give you a constant number and you take the derivative of that. Uh, not necessarily because f, uh, just because you find f of 2 over g of 2, that doesn't tell you anything about the slope of f of 2 over, uh, it doesn't tell you anything about the slope of the quotient of those functions. So what we have to do here is we're just going to do the quotient rule on this. So it's going to be low d high right there minus high d low all over low squared. Okay, so g of x, uh, and this is when x is 2, look. So g of 2 is going to appear right here. Okay, so I'm going to fill these out. So I'm going to have g of 2 times f prime of 2. So low d high minus high d low. f of 2 times g prime of 2, <coughs> all over low squared. And now I'm just going to plug in the values from the table above. Okay, so g of 2 is going to be, uh, here's g of x. When x is 2, g of 2 would be negative 3. So that's where the negative 3 comes from. F prime of 2 is going to be F prime when X is 2. That'll be 3 right there. So that's where that 3 came from. The rest is just plug and chug. If you put negative 24 over 9, I would accept that. I just simplified it down because, you know, math. Um, part B, find the numeric value of the derivative of F of F of X. Be careful here. This is not F of X times F of X. This is F of f of x. So what's going to happen here is you're going to need a chain rule. So the derivative of this is going to be, remember, <clears throat> if you have a function inside of a function, it's going to be the derivative of the outside function. So the outside here is this outside f. So you're going to have f prime of, and then you leave the inside part alone, times the derivative of the inside part. And the derivative of the inside part here would be f of x. <clears throat> Sorry, f prime of x. So you've got f prime of f of x times f prime of x, okay? And this is when x is 3. So what, what we have here is all I'm changing is f prime of the x became a 3, the x became a 3, okay? So f prime of f of 3 times f prime of 3. f of 3 here has a value up in the table. So f of 3 is 1. So f of 3 drops right there. F prime of 3, if you look up at the table, is also 1. That's a little confusing that they made those the same. And by they, I mean me, but whatever. Uh, so now we have F prime of, be careful, this is not just 1 here. It's not like F prime times 1. This is F prime of 1. Okay, so you, you have to realize that the F of 3, the F of X, is inside of the F prime function. It is the input for the F prime function. It is not multiplying the F prime function. Okay, f prime of 1, go up here. So here's 1. f prime of 1 is 2. And then f prime of 3, we already figured out that was 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. That's how you set that one up. 